It's an ideal monastery, you know, ideal Coptic monastery. Uh, it's like a small village. The monasteries were spread out of Egypt and all Europe and everywhere from here. We are trying to do a very uh, scientific restoration, not only for the painting, but also for the architecture. The St. Anthony Church painting is the unique uh, painting in Egypt it, because the church is complete, completely the walls covered with painting and it gives an idea about the medieval iconography of the Coptic art. This art was uh, covered with the white plaster. We have a chance to take down the white plaster to discover this uh, very early painting, 6th, 7th century. 2003 we started to do a restoration with the Supreme Council of Antiquities for the monastery, and when we work inside uh, this church, under the floor, we discovered uh, very, very early monastic cells, and another church from 6th century. This is the service room, where we do have the colored stone floor, and the stone is there from the mountain, and then we have the oven, this is the last oven where they do the bread. And then here we can find a Coptic inscription written on the plaster. It's very interesting uh, here to see in the inner room how there's a very small pottery inside in the floor, still in a good condition, you can see. What's interesting here for this excavation is, it was a big challenge because the excavation is inside the used church. This is an ideal uh, excavation project to, to let the people think about how we can excavate and in the same time display it for the visitors in a protected way. St. Anthony was died in uh, 356 here, and he was buried here in, in the monastery, but we don't know exactly where he is. Now, in our process to discover the tomb of St. Anthony, we discovered another structure under the church of St. Anthony. The entrance is from this church. And uh, we are waiting now to just to have time to continue our excavation Maybe we hope that we will discover the tomb of St. Anthony under the altar of St. Anthony. <laughs>